giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka HaKodash, the born of the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone and the sincere Shalom to the Hakim that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. A uh, really quick video, man. I was just kind of, you know, thinking on, you know, on, these, on this scripture a little bit. Um, um, you know, because I remember every other video will be me going into this scripture. You know, I used to pull out this scripture an awful lot, man, an awful lot. Because it applied to every single day, man. It applied to everyday life is when it comes to our people, man. When it comes to the two-thirds of, you know, our people, all right? The so-called Negro, Latino, Native American people, right? So, um, you know, because everybody's having a grand old time right now, man. You know, yesterday was Easter. You know, everybody just everybody having a having a good time now, man. When we out there warning you about about these about the things that's getting ready to come to pass, man. You know, we hear it all, man. You either walk by like nothing going on, you laugh at us, right? You you come up and you scoff, right? And 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 you know, the Bible is written by a man. You're wrong. You're a hate group. All this other stuff, man. What other answer is there, man? What other answer is there? This is the only answer, right? Especially for us men, this is the only answer. But you got a lot of Jake that don't want to accept it, man. All right. You got a lot of Jake that that scoff against us, right? You got a lot of you got a lot of Jake that are laugh, mock, and you're just having a go. You're just having a grand old time right now, man. And the Lord get ready to wipe all that bullshit away, man. Right. All your tick, all you, all these goddamn distractions, man, is distractions on YouTube, social media, right? These, these, these Instagram and TikTok and all this other bullshit. All these, all these distractions, man, they get ready to be wiped away, right? They get, you get ready to, get ready to be wiped away. Especially for you women, man. You women love social media, right? It's all, it's all get ready to be wiped away. What you gonna do then? Because y'all going to know that a prophet was among y'all, man. All right? This book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 22. All right? How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? You you know who this is talking about? Israelites. You see, our, 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 the the, the two-thirds, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, our people. The two the two-thirds of our people. That's who this is talking to. All right? How long y'all going to love simplicity? Right? Stupidity. What, what, is, what is simplicity? Which we know, simple ones. How, you, how, you, how long are you going to love simplicity? Right? It says, um, simple, foolish, open-minded. All right? Anyway, let's continue on. It says, and scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Right? So you scorners, you scorners delight in, 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 uh, in scorning. All right? You scorners delight in scorning. Right? Bragging. Right? So you scorners delight in that stuff, man. You delight in doing wickedness. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse, I want to say 11, maybe. It's in the 6th chapter. Um, it said, you know, are, were you ashamed when he committed a sin? It said, nay, neither could they blush. Maybe it was maybe it was verse 12. All right. And fools hate knowledge. That sounds like Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Right? Turn you at my reproof. All right. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. When he, when the Lord does that, when he makes known his words uh, unto the world, it's not going to be a very pleasant thing to see, to be honest. You're going to start seeing all types of things, man. For example, of, of things not being pleasant to see. Transformers. You know what I'm talking about. That's not a very pleasant thing to see, right? But... Those that those are the words of the Lord that the Lord was said was going to happen, right? Um, cannibalism, people shooting each other all the time, man. Oh, it's going to be all types of things you see out here, man. People are the Lord made some crazy, crazy people, right? And those are His words be, being being made known. The famines, pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. Those are the words being. Those are the words of the Lord. And his spirit being poured out on this place, man. It's not going to be a very nice thing, man. Obviously, it's not going to be a very nice thing. Okay? Because I have called and ye refused, right? So, he's going to pour his words uh, out unto the people of Israel, man. What is that? A, a good example of that? Jeremiah chapter 30. Jacob's trouble. Right? Because what? 
It's just because I have called and ye refuse. Now, when you read when you read the scriptures, when you read all throughout the Bible, the Lord had to keep reminding us that it was me that led you out of the land of Egypt. Right? It was me that led you out of the land of Egypt. It was me that led your forefathers out of the land of Egypt. Why do you have to keep reminding? Because every time uh, they went off, the Lord had to remind them, like, it was me that did that. I'm the, and you, and this, is how, this is how you appreciate? This is how you show your appreciation? Right? It was me that led, that, that led you, that took you by the hand to lead you out of the land of Egypt. Right? Every single time, man. The Lord had to remind us about that when we went off. And what did the Lord do when we when we finally cried to him and asked the Lord for we asked him for forgiveness and prayed to him and humbled our asses down? He answered our calls every single time. You think today is any different? Right? You think today is any different? Absolutely not. Right? It says, I have called and you refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Right, he stressed out, he stressed forth his hand to a rebellious ass people. All right, it says, But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and were not uh, of my reproof. I will laugh at your calamity, I will mock when your fear cometh. Right, this is all self explanatory, man. Right, he's going to laugh at your at your uh, calamity, man. We already know what calamity is. Okay, we, we all know what the distress, burden. So, damn, man, he sounds like. Like if it like let's say somebody somebody tripped and fell, seriously hurt themselves, seriously broke like broke their arm or something like that. Everybody's rushing to help, but you but but you have somebody laughing at him that he broke his arm, right? You 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 peop, you're gonna call that person sick. Like, goddamn, how the hell can he laugh at something like that, right? Well, the Lord said he's gonna laugh at your distress. So when you shoot each other, when the when the when when kids in school shoot each other. And they and they kill each other. You know the Lord is laughing at that, right? He sounds like a very very sick individual. Well, he's the one that put the spirit on these kids to do that. He's the one that man's going to the Lord, man. So he sounds like a very sick individual, right? Not not so, because this is just what has to happen. And you know what? Good for them, man. Good for them because they're going to be brought back right, man. I think we want to continue to see how people like this. The only way, the only way for them right now is death. And like I said, it's rightfully so, man, because we can't, we can't keep seeing our people like this, man. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. We cannot keep seeing our people like this. If you want to continue to see our people like this, man, you sick, man. You are very sick. You want to continue to live here. You call this place paradise. You call this place the new covenant. You're sick, man. Do you see the state of our, of our, of our people? Right, our children, our men, our women, and our children. Do you see this? But you got people in, in, with garments on that say that we're in a new covenant, man. Do you see the state of this world right now? How are we in a new covenant? How are we possibly in a new covenant? It doesn't make any sense, right? So let's go back. If we're in a new covenant, how come how come Jacob's trouble is on his way? If we're in a new covenant. In the new covenant, Jake won't have no issues. Right? Verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, and when your distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. This sounds like Amos the eighth chapter. Alright? Uh, eight and ten to be specific. Okay, it says, I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Alright? For they hate, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, right? So you did, so you didn't, you didn't want to go into the path of the of the of the Most High, man, right? You wanted to go into your own little path. You wanted to do your own little thing, right? Okay. It says they were none of my counsel; they despised all my reproof. All right. Therefore, shall they eat of their own way? All right, and be filled with their own devices. For the turn of the way of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. All right. Um, but whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. So that's a good note to end off on, man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemiah Shai? Shalom.